What's up you guys? Welcome back to another Disney Dreamlight Valley update video. I hope you've been enjoying the Enchanted Adventure update with Belle and the Beast and the Haunted Holiday Star Path as much as I have. And while we still have more to look forward to with the upcoming in-game Halloween event, I can't help but think about what's coming later this year. We will have another big content update most likely in November if the pattern of updates remains the same. This will be the last major update of 2023, and with it are coming some really epic new things. Let's take a look at the roadmap that Dreamlight Valley shared back in May, which outlined what we could expect in upcoming updates. As you can see, the late 2023 section of the roadmap is the largest and it will be the start of the next big storyline in Disney Dreamlight Valley, which everyone is calling Act 2. Act 1 was all about the forgetting and bringing the valley back to life. I believe that Act 2 will be about discovering even more of this dreamlight world that lives outside of the valley. We can of course look forward to new characters coming in the update. I have a strong suspicion that Aladdin characters are coming next thanks to the hint at the end of the forgetting storyline and the image that was chosen for the roadmap. With these new characters, I believe there will also come a new desert biome or island as Merlin has referenced in the game. This could be one of the new frontiers. In addition to that, I also believe that Skull Rock will be opening up in this next update. There have been multiple references to Skull Rock made by characters in the game talking about their memories of going inside of there. We also had the mini quests that took place at Skull Rock with the summer update. I'll link my video to that below if you haven't done that quest yet. I think it would be really cool if Skull Rock opened up into a cave that connected to the mines. I also have my suspicions that the mysterious cave door will open up sometime in 2024 and could also connect to the mines and or Skull Rock. Let me know what your theories are on these closed off areas of the valley. Now the next part of the roadmap kind of drops a bombshell with the word multiplayer, which seems like it could be a huge change to the structure of the game. But since the devs referred to the Dream Snaps feature as their first multiplayer feature, I'm wondering if this is going to be what we think it's going to be. Personally, I would love to be able to travel to other valleys and play with friends, but I'm wondering if that's setting expectations too high. I feel like it would almost be better if they just improved Dream Snaps and made it a bit more interactive with a community tab or leaderboard. This could very well be what they mean when they say multiplayer. Just another step in the direction of connecting the community. We'll have to wait and see on that one, but I'm going to keep an open mind about it. The next part of the roadmap states that we will be getting a new royal tool. This is yet another really big change to the game. So far, we haven't had any tool additions to the original five. We currently have a pickaxe, shovel, watering can, fishing rod, and cell phone. I've seen some theories of a new royal tool perhaps being a net for bug catching, much like other cozy games that use tools like these, which could be the case now that we have bugs in the game. I've also seen a theory about a magic wand being a royal tool, which I think would be pretty neat, although I'm not sure how we would use it in the game. Whatever the tool is, I'm wondering what will happen in terms of Royal Tool skins. If you've purchased a Royal Tool skin, will you also get that version of the new tool as well? The last part of the roadmap says there will also be other magical surprises, so who knows what else will be added at the end of this year. It's possible that we will get all of this packed into one huge update, but also possible that it may be broken up with an additional mini update much like the Vanellope update we got over the summer. The only thing not mentioned here is the holiday star path that we will most likely get in the next update. Last year we had a Christmas slash holiday themed star path and there is no doubt in my mind that we will get another one this year, which is really exciting to think about. Let me know what you think about all the upcoming changes to Disney Dreamlight Valley in the comments below. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure you give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. It really does help me grow here on YouTube. I hope you all have an amazing day today, friends, and I will see you again real soon. Bye!